Hello, today we are going over balancing equations. So we have another one of the FET simulations. Um, you can see that I just searched for FET balancing equations and the first thing that comes up is um, the site that you need, the website that you need through Colorado. Remember this is all through uh, University of Colorado. So I go to the balancing equations FET site and I go ahead and play the balancing equations. It's going to give me a couple choices. There's the introduction and then there's the game. The game you're going to do later. Let's do the introduction first. Now this goes back to reactants and products that we were um, looking at uh, either a week or two weeks ago where you're going to need to balance both sides of this equation. And it's got the equation down here below. It says making ammonia and it's got N2 plus H2 and it's going to yield NH3 which is ammonia. I want you to go to the tools though and in the toolbar there's a balance, a scale. Put that up there because that's going to show you if you're balanced for each of the elements. It's got a balance for nitrogen here and it's got a balance for hydrogen up here. So uh, let's start. If we look at N2 plus H2 equals NH3. First thing I want to look at is the nitrogen. I have two nitrogen here, assuming everything's at one. I mean, everything would have to be at one to start off with. But you can see by our balances, we're unbalanced. I look at my nitrogens, I have two nitrogens. But on the product side, I only have one nitrogen. So in order to balance that, I can increase the number of moles to two over here. And now you can see my nitrogens are balanced. It's two on each side. The, the scale up at the top there is balanced. But my hydrogens are way off. I have two hydrogens on the reactant side, and I have six hydrogens on the product side. So I need to balance those. Now I can't get rid of the six on the product side. So I'm going to have to increase the number that I have on uh, the reactant side. So I add, I go up to two moles of H2. That doesn't quite do it. That only gives me four. Remember, I need six. So I go up another mole, and now I have six hydrogens on, um, you could say on the left side, and the same amount on the right side. Same thing with my nitrogens, it's all balanced. Let's look at another one. So the next one is separate water. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with one in each of these. I have my balance tool. My hydrogens right off the bat are balanced, but my oxygens are not. I see that um, on the left side I have one oxygen, and on the right side I have two oxygens. So what I'm going to need to do is increase the number of moles here. Now, 2 times the 1 oxygen, that gives me 2 oxygens on this side. And I have 2 oxygens on the right side. And we, you can see that we're balanced on the oxygens. Now I look at my hydrogens, they're unbalanced. 4 on the left and 2 on the right. So I need to increase the amount that I have on the right. And I can do that by adding moles. That's the only thing that we can do is change the number of moles. So if I increase that, that now puts me in balance. I have four hydrogens on this side, four hydrogens on this side, two oxygens on both sides. We're going to look at one more example. Um, combust methane. Remember I'm going to start all these at one. At least one mole. Our hydrogens are balanced right off, I mean our carbons are balanced right off the bat, hydrogens are off, oxygens are off. So let's see, carbons are okay, hydrogens, let's increase the number of hydrogens we have. We have four on the left side and only have two on the right side. So if I increase the number of moles, now my hydrogens are balanced, but my oxygens are still way off. Carbons are good, hydrogens are good, oxygens are off. 
four oxygens on the right, two on the left, so I have to increase the number that I have on the left. And I have two over here. If I increase that to two moles, that doubles the amount. So now I have four, and now I'm all balanced. Okay. So what I want you to do is run through each of those examples with the scale and make sure you can balance them. Run through each one. Once you've done that and you're comfortable with doing that for those three examples, make ammonia, water, and combust methane, then I want you to go down to the bottom and go to the game right here. You're going to do each level of the game and I need you to get a score of five or higher. And then you're going to print that score for each level. So level one, as long as you have a score of five and you've done all the questions, then you print it. And here, it's the same thing that we were doing before. Remember, start everything at one. And then we got a bounce, but it does not have a scale on this one. So you're going to have to figure it out. I see that I have four phosphates over here and one over here. So I'm definitely going to need more. I'm going to need at least four. And then fluorines, I'm way off on fluorines. It looks like we have four times three is 12 fluorines. So to get 12 over here, I would need to go to six. All right, four and four, 12 and 12, and then we check it. And that's that. So, um, like I said, for each level, make sure you can get a score of five or higher. Doing all five of the challenges on each level, print up your final page, your final score, and attach it to your worksheet. All right, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for now.